gentlemen, and welcome to The Late Night Show with your host, myself, Harsha. Well, let's get right into the news, everybody. Lately, a lot of people have been discussing about citizenship rules and how it stands as of now. To get familiarized with citizenship, we will be taking a deep look into how it first came into place and how its rules work. Citizenship is a status of a person recognized under the custom or law as being a legal member of a sovereign state or belonging to a nation. This act allows Canadians to carry dual citizenship, whereas previously they would generally lose their citizenship automatically if they had a citizenship of another country. Canada's first citizenship uh, was created by the Canadian Citizenship Act in 1947. Before 1947, anyone who immigrated to Canada or born in Canada were considered British people, but that all changed after January 1st, 1947, when the Canadian Citizenship Act came into force and it was the first national law in which people were defined as Canadian. This was an important expression in which Canada's growth of national identity was finally being noticed. To obtain Canadian citizenship, the Act outlined process, requirements, and reasons to why it could be revoked. There are other things in the Act as well, such as giving married women full control over the national status. Before 1947, a woman's nationality status in Canada was determined by the nationality of her husband's and could be also lost through marriage. Several years ago, on February 15, 1977, a new Citizenship Act came into force. It provided that both native-born and naturalized citizens are equally entitled to all rights of a citizen and subject to all duties of a citizen. These rights and duties are governed by provincial and federal laws and the Constitution Act 1982. Citizens are guaranteed democratic rights, including the right to vote and run for office in elections of the House of Commons and legislative assemblies. This act removed the previous distinction between British people and aliens. This was an important change for Canada's non-British population because they grew quickly in the decades after World War II. Many new immigrants from Europe and other places became frustrated because of the unequal treatment they received compared to those coming from Britain. The Act also greatly expanded the reason for revoking a person's Canadian citizenship. The only ways to be revoked of citizenship is fraud and misrepresentation on a citizenship or immigration application. The Minister of Citizenship and Immigration had the, has the direct power to revoke citizenship in cases of fraud. Well folks, let's try to take a breather here and by doing so, we'll be right, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Don't go anywhere.